Hi and welcome to another end engine video. In this video we're going to make an animation. For example, go ahead and write your name in for example paint.net and we're going to animate that object. An animation is defined by how many frames it contains. For example, my name is going to contain five frames. Each frame takes up just as much space as the other. So this image is total width of 320, as you can see down there. That means that each frame is going to be 320 divided by 5 in the width. Since I have 5 images and I need all to have the equal width and height. So go ahead and create your name and make sure you divide them each into their own frame. And then save it into your assets folder to your project. For example here. And now I'm going to show you how to create an animation and an animated sprite. First of all, we're going to create an image for our animation. And we're going to use private eye tiled texture region. My name. And we're going to import eye tiled texture region. Basically, this means that you can tile or divide up your image into different sub-images that's going to make out the animation and then we're going to create an animated sprite and I'm going to name that my name and, this will, and the image will be called my name image now we're going to get down here to to actually define the image so I'm just going to go ahead and copy our circle and change it to my name image. And then we have to change this bitmap texture atlas blah 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 to bitmap tiled texture atlas region factory. Now we need to add two parameters too. It will be the how many frames in the width we have and how many sorry how many columns we have. Each one is a frame and how many rows we have. So as you can see we have five columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But we only have one row. Let's see. Bitmap Texture Atlas. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Create tiles from assets. I haven't done this in a while, so excuse me if I'm making something wrong. Anyways, and we're going to change the image to my name.png which is what I named this image. And now we're just going to go ahead and create the actual my name, the actual animated sprite. So animated my name equals to new animated sprite. I'm going to change the position to 32 by 96. And it's going to be my name image and then we just need to attach our animated object to our scene and there's something else I forgot, I need to change the position of where we actually build the image right now it is at 0, 0 on both images that means that my name image will overlap our circle and we don't want that I'm just going to go ahead and check how big our circle is. It is 64 by 64, so that means if I put my my name at y coordinate 65, they will not they will not overlap. I'm just going to take a pause and I'm going to, going to run the application on my phone. I forgot that we need to actually s set it to start animating. Because right now, as you will be able to see in just a sec, the image won't change. It's really easy to do. We just do. We just go down here, and we type my name for my name object. Dot. Animate. And we just set it to 300. I believe it's milliseconds. I'm not completely sure. But we're going to see if it works now. Not gonna use that, gonna use this one.
As you can see, the image loops through each image, L I N U I S, etc. And as you see on my screen, it's quite laggy, but if you would have been able to take a look at my phone, you would see that it doesn't lag at all. It just takes a while for it to update. That's why it lags. Yep, but anyways, that is how you animate a simple image. I will hopefully be able to put up a video within a week. I know I said it the last time, but hopefully I won't get sick this time. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe and maybe leave a comment below. And then maybe even give the video a thumbs up. So once again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.